So for almost a week now, I've been basically stranded here at home because my car has the worst of flat tires. Like just about rim touching the concrete. And with no capability of my own, I haven't been able to go out and do the things that I need to get done or be the places that I need to be at because of this thing. And it's not that I'm not capable of switching out the tire for the spare tire, but... No! Let's just say that wasn't an option. So now that i found some time, I... Ah, there we go. And I've access to an air compressor. I can fill up my tire with just enough air to get me to a tire shop place to replace the tire. It's been tiring. I don't know what I was expecting with the tire place, but I just dropped off my car. Um, so now I've camped out at this pizza place that's across the street, hoping to get some stuff done before I, before I actually, you know, head out and do the things that I need to get done. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long night. So it's like 11.20 right now, and I'm in the library because I basically live here now. Uh, and I'm finishing up all of the stuff that I needed to get done today, which I can finally do because, thank God, my car is fixed. I went and got the tires replaced this afternoon, took care of it in a couple of hours, and then drove over here to do the things that I needed to do. One stupid tire took out basically my entire regular lifestyle. But it was okay, because I had friends that I was able to rely on. Luke, for example, this morning, just so that I could get to class, let me use his car and then drive back to pick him up, even though he's got all this other stuff that's happening right now in his life. Or like Brian, um, who drove me to the gym and drove me to work and just bonded with me through that whole time. And I think that this whole flat tire thing is a really powerful metaphor for something that we go through all the time. And it's, it's incredible how one little thing, one, one flat tire can immobilize us and render us just useless. We can't get anywhere, we can't get anything done. We can't do what we need to do on a regular day-to-day -day basis because of one flat tire. I've gone through this plenty of times where something happening in my life just stops everything. I can't focus on anything. I can't do what I need to be doing. It's the worst. And I think the reason that God created community, the reason that God put people in our lives that we can rely on, it's so that we can use those people to get us to where we need to be, to help us to do what we need to do, who can be there for us to support us when we're not able to get anywhere on our own. That's something that I learned through this whole tire situation. Because when we get a flat, we can, we can rely on our friends to be there for us until we're able to fix our problems, get back on our feet, and go do what we need to do. It's amazing what kind of like little 
little life lessons that you can learn from something that happens to you. Um, so I encourage you to just n know who your friends are. Reach out and use the people that you trust and rely on them when you just can't. Yeah. All right, it's late and I'm filming myself in the library, so I'm gonna go edit this vlog and post it for you guys tomorrow. I hope I see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.